Hi guys, today we are going to learn JavaScript and JavaScript is a very simple scripting language that can be used in the browser. It's used very extensively by a lot of people uh, and I'm sure if you're learning JavaScript then you probably know that it's a highly, highly used language. And uh, it's very simple, uh, there are two ways you can use JavaScript, one is you can use it in the browser, you can change HTML elements. Uh, and the text and the you know uh, properties of those elements and then you can also use it in the console i'll be showing you both so this is uh, just a small introduction video and then we'll get into you know more difficult topics as uh, as we progress in this series we'll uh, be learning about variables and arrays and objects and uh, a lot of different things like asynchronous functions and promises and we'll also be learning about es6 the newer version of uh, javascript and all the features that it has uh, so uh, you know this, this is a great uh, way to start ja learning JavaScript and you can watch the entire series too if you want to learn really well. Uh, I'm using something called as jsfiddle.net. Uh, this is much better than setting up your own local environment. If you're just learning JavaScript and you're new to it, all of this, then you just go to jsfiddle.net and you know, you'll, you'll get your HTML, CSS and JavaScript windows and here you'll also see your output if you're running your code. You can save your code, you can collaborate. So it has a lot of features basically. You can sign in and change the settings. And uh, I'm assuming you already are very familiar with Java, HTML and CSS, so that you know uh, it'll be very easy for you to learn JavaScript. So to to uh, you know start showing you how JavaScript works, I'll start writing some HTML. So I'll just put doc type HTML here. Then I'll start putting those uh, you know the regular tags. I'm sure you know the body tag. I'll put an H1 tag as well. And I'll write something here like my first JavaScript then we'll put a p tag this is where I'll be showing you how JavaScript works so let's put an ID here I'm sure you already know what an ID is basically you must have used ID selectors in CSS so I'll put an ID of demo here and I think this is it uh, and now I'll just wrap this whole thing in an HTML tag now it looks complete so uh, let me run this code and show you what happens so I see my first JavaScript but I don't see the P the pra paragraph tag because I have not written anything inside here I've just given it an ID so I'll be using something called as document uh, now I'm in my JavaScript window so I'll be using something called as document dot get element by ID which is the I the element that I want to select is demo that's the element by ID right ID is demo so get the element as P uh, so it's going to select the paragraph element by the ID demo dot inner HTML if I want to change the HTML inner HTML of it I'll say text and I'll run the code so I can see text here so basically it's going to select the paragraph tag because it has the ID of demo right it's going to change the inner HTML or and it's going to put text here and uh, let me show you uh, how to change this using buttons so that th this whole concept becomes much clearer to you and i'll use a button and i'll call it type is equal to button i'll say on click is equal to my so if you don't understand uh, on click and my function right now, you don't have to worry too much, okay? Because I'll go over functions and I'll go over on click uh, in, later, in, in the later part of this series. But basically what's doing is that whenever the button is clicked, uh, it will call a function called my function. So you may have an idea of what, what a function is or you, you may not have an idea of what a function is. A function is basically something that is called uh, where a, a certain code is executed. So you're basically outsourcing your work to a function that we'll define in the JavaScript part. So you don't have to worry if you don't understand anything here. We'll go over it uh, later on anyway. So I'll uh, name the button change. Change will be the name that I'll see on the button. And I'll just make another button called, I'll call it change back. That's what I'll call it. And on click, I'll call another function called my function too. If you notice, I have written F in capital in both these places. That's 
it's that's called as camel casing so whenever you define variables or you define functions in javascript you have to use uh, this procedure it's called camel casing basically this is a javascript standard it's the best practice and now i'll start uh, defining these functions so this is how you define a function function my function and then function my function two right so there are these two things inside my function i'll write document dot get element by id i'll say demo and i'll say inner html is equal to changed and here i'll say document dot get element by id demo dot inner html is equal to text so what's going to happen is it's going to say text then i'll have two buttons i'll have a change button i'll have a uh, you know change back button if i click on the change button it'll say changed this text will become changed and if i click on the change back button it'll become text again that's what i want to achieve and let's see if i run my code what happens i see two buttons now uh, i see the text here because because of the first line of this code uh, so the thing is that in javascript the line the code gets uh, uh, you know called uh, linearly and obviously if you press a button then this code will get called so it uh, depends on uh, events how the code is got uh, how code gets called otherwise it uh, it always gets called sequentially right and uh, <coughs> so all you have to do is change and then change back change and change back so if you change it says changed because that's what i've said uh, the text should to become and then if i say change back then it becomes text so it's very simple uh, uh, to understand it's very very easy so the property that we're using like i said again is document dot get element by id and you're using uh you know the id uh, demo and this and the element is p basically which we are changing uh, so we're changing it uh, by default in the beginning then we're changing it using buttons so by default it will be text because that's what it says here and then if i click on button these functions will get called only if i click on these buttons right they can't uh, execute on their own so if i click on this button it'll say change it'll say change back uh it's okay if you don't understand functions right now if you don't understand what's happening here but what i want to show you was that you can change um the text inside uh an element in an html element very easily by selecting using id right so i hope that much part is at least clear now i'll show you how to use your console so if you are in your console if you right click and inspect and go to your console so this is what you'll see right i'm seeing a lot of errors which i don't want to see so but anyways uh you can ignore them for now and uh, what i wanted to show you was if i say console dot log and i say hello so it says hello to me back to me right if i say console dot log i say a number 1 it gives me a number back if i say 1 plus 2 it says 3 so it can do addition also it can do multiplication also and we'll look at uh, variables later on but i'll just show you what uh, how variables work so i'll say where, where a is equal to 5 okay then i'll say console dot log a basically i've defined a variable called a which i've given it a value of 5 so if i ever see what uh, want to see what uh, you know a is so i'll say console.log a and i'll get the value of 5 now let me define another variable called b and i'll say b is equal to a plus 5 so that means b should be 10 right so let me see if that's actually the case let me try and print uh, b i'll say b console.log b so it says 10 So you can see that you know I'm being able to do all these multiply uh, you know additions and multiplications very easily inside the console. So this also uh, was something I want to show you, and you can do all of that here as well if you uh, you know want to. You can uh, you know add numbers here. You can uh, let me show you. I can just it's very easy to add a number here. So you can put a number also here very easily. 
you can pass numbers between these functions and add them here so that that's slightly more advanced i don't want to show you all of that now because uh, you'll get confused but as you can see you can put numbers you can text put text here you can put additions and multiplications all of that can be done here and using functions you can do a lot of uh, mathematical math mathematical ca uh, calculations very easily by passing numbers and by passing variables as well uh, which we'll be seeing in uh, you know the upcoming videos so i hope this introduction was uh, you know very clear and it's uh, it's a very simple language uh, as we uh, you know uh, learn more you'll understand that it's there's nothing very complex in this and it's uh, it's something that that's used uh, in in frameworks like Node.js and React.js, so once you are very clear with uh, JavaScript, you can easily start learning the frameworks. And um, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or doubts, you can put them in the comment box below, and I'll get back to you. Uh, and thanks a lot. Thank you for uh, watching this video.